Uh, continuing coverage tonight, owners of the Taylor Apartments looking to demolish towers three and four in Troy. The company says this would be to bring in moderate accommodations to downtown Troy, putting new buildings in their place. News 10 ABC's Anthony Krolikowski joining us live in studio with the details from tonight's planning commission. Anthony. Good evening, Lydia and John. As the new Taylor building is coming together, site planners are looking ahead to what's to come for Towers 3 and 4, where tenants currently live. Phase 1 is already 50% complete and expected to finish in the third quarter of this year. Now tonight, they are looking to start the process for Phase 2. City of Troy appropriated some ARPA money uh, to demolish the prior building and you'll see the new building right now is being built. Taylor Towers 1 and 2 were constructed in 1954 and have been vacant since 2005. The modern apartment complex will be home to those currently in Towers 3 and 4. I've just received a million dollars from Senators Schumer and Gillibrand and that will go towards demolishing Taylor 3 and 4. Part of phase two is tearing down towers three and four and then construction of new buildings. Both phases will create 450 units. Essentially 100 percent affordable effectively um, to a wide range of, of incomes across the board. Affecting the future construction of phase two is a major update to the Congress Street Bridge. The ramps of the bridge will stay. The plan is to repurpose them with greenery. They will also add two more lanes for pedestrians and bikes. They're doing a total redesign of their inner street areas here, you know, getting Ferry and Congress Street to it. So it's more of a four way uh, intersection like what we have here in the city of Waterville. Okay. The meeting ended with the Planning Commission declared as the lead agency for Taylor's Apartments State Environmental Quality Review Act. They plan to likely meet again on April 17th. Reporting live in studio, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.